What's up, guys? Now, I am playing Grand Theft Auto once again. I'm going to give myself a challenge for this video. I, I, want, I want this to be a challenge for people. Some people might have mastered it. I'm one of those that haven't because I don't use this particular view. But I want to, it's the cinematic view challenge. Lester, quit calling me. The cinematic view challenge. And you have to drive from a long distance location to another. So I figured I should go all the way out to my facility across the map. And I have to use the cinematic view. I cannot switch it. I have to like, you know, accept any crashes, try to figure it out. All of that stuff, all right? And try to drive the whole way there, plus on the bike, plus on the bike. So it, to give yourself even more of a challenge, you have to do it on the bike. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and do this challenge, man. I oh crap, all right. Lester, quit calling me, dang. It's like one would think a person, <clears throat> they, would, uh, they would eventually catch on like, okay, they don't want to be bothered, so let me stop calling them. But oh crap, okay. You see how difficult that is? Because you don't expect the car to be there and stuff. So it's like, it's kind of, it's kind of different. And it is just like the walls, you know, like I, I'm going to try. I'm going to really try. I wonder if other people have done this challenge. Because if so, then I'm just late. Like, I don't know if other people have done this challenge, but I, I just, see man, dang. And then they start having like trees and stuff in a way. I don't even know where I'm going. Lester, quit calling me, man. I'm not picking up the phone. One would think if the, even more so the fact that I'm ignoring his calls, like I'm purposely, you know, declining his calls. One would think he would catch on and realize, oh, okay, so he's not answering. I don't even know where I'm going. Crap, okay, yep. See how difficult that is? And it's just like, then you trying to drive fast on top of that, because it's like, I ain't trying to get hit by another car, so... See, then it's like the other cars and then the trees. Oh my goodness. Why am I driving fast? I shouldn't even be driving fast, but it just adds more to it. Just adds more to it. Okay, so it ain't a whole lot of cars. Nice sunny day. In video game and in real life. Freaking, it's. I think they said it's supposed to be 90 degrees today in Seattle. So. I live in Seattle, by the way. Y'all didn't know. But I think I've, I, I think I said it before on video. <clears throat> but you might have not seen that video. But anyways, yeah, I live in Seattle. And I just don't like hot weather. I don't. I hate hot weather. And I hate when Lester blows up my phone. This seems pretty easy, actually. Like, when they had a whole lot of cars and stuff, then all right. But when there's a lot of cars, and then when they have it where they're, like, placing me behind trees and crap. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's that type of stuff. And then... Alright, so, I spoke too soon. Crap, okay. I need to turn this down on my laptop because it's like, it'll start playing the audio out loud and then it think it like, off an echo noise. But, yeah, man. Freaking... Lester, I swear, if, if this was real life, I picked up the phone and said, Lester, if you call this number one more time, and I declined it a whole bunch of times. That's a sign that I don't want to talk right now. So quit calling me, okay? Eventually, I will answer your call. But right now, I'm kind of on the road right now trying to drive in a cinematic view. So it's like, dude, quit calling me. I'm just glad this is in real life. Because this, yeah, I definitely would have cussed out Lester. Like, I've declined your calls how many times now? Like... It's not like I know anybody in Los Santos. So it's like, if anything has happened to anybody, I do not care. I am sorry. Lester, quit calling me. Like, Lester is a type where it's just like, you might end up, like, traveling to his place to punch him in the face or something. Because I'm like, dude, I've declined. How many times I've declined your call? Like, and you still kept calling. All right? Stop calling my number. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem between us. Crap. Oh, Jesus. It's kind of easy, but at the same time, it's like, yo, I can die fooling around with this. Like, I can crash. A lot can happen. Some people are bad drivers, though. I think it's just like, I'm a good driver in this game, so I kind of know the road. Not really. I swear, Lester. I, 
I need it. I need to get in that other lane. Can't be on the sides. I have not looked at the map at all, really. It's just, it's, I forgot that the map was there, and I'm like, that. that's even more so of an help, a helper, but, nah, I, I wanna, see, man, dang. I'm surprised I haven't, like, fallen off. Like, crashed or something. But, for those that are uh, wondering, I'm playing this on PlayStation. I know it's like, I always did videos back and forth, these are on Xbox or PlayStation. But, um, yeah, I just, I only have this game on PlayStation now. I think I just need to, um, have, like, I need to save up a lot of memory. I got, like, this memory thing for my PlayStation. So I figured I should just have Grand Theft Auto only on here. I didn't miss my turn. <clears throat> See, it's like, then, then I just kept on going. Then wouldn't have even realized, like, I didn't pass up the place that I need to go to. So I guess it is kind of good to have your map on. But if you want to give yourself even more of a challenge, turn the map off. Do what you gotta do. See, I'm hitting jumps and stuff. Crap. Lester, quit calling me, man. Dang. Like, that's that type of stuff is annoying. I don't even know where my facility thing is at. I thought that was an animal. I'm like, they have animals in multiplayer now? Bro, where is it? There we go. Wow. That was something. All right. Well, that's my challenge for you guys. The cinematic view challenge and try to drive a distance and grant that photo to um, just, I guess, to see if you're a good driver. I feel like that, you know, if you don't die, you get to your destination without dying. But that, that pretty much shows that you're a good driver and anything that has to do with driving in this game. Yes, you should be the designated driver. You should be the person that you're driving. Why? Because you passed the cinematic view test. All right. So anyways, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll find something else to do in this game. Besides some made up challenge or challenge that's possibly already have been done. And, you know, I it's I'm just late to the party. But yeah, I, I encourage everybody to do the cinematic view challenge and all that. So anyways, you could do it in the car. It'll be a little bit more easier. If you want to give yourself even more of a challenge, do it on a bike or any bike that you own. Um, this ain't really that fast, but it was, I mean, I could have crashed or hit something really hard and flew off and stuff. So yeah, give yourself more of a challenge. Watch people ball like, bruh, you can't fall off of those. Like, that's the one bike where you just can't fall off of it and stuff. Like, well, listen, I'll do, I'll get me a better bike, do this challenge again and stuff, and, you know, do what I gotta do. But anyways, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and peace.